There we go. What's going on guys, Hunter Robinson here, back again with another episode of The Perfect Cast. I am back on my yearly vacation trip to Fenwick Island, Delaware. I am currently heading out to the Little Ass Woman Bay. It's actually the bay that we stay on when we vacation down here. And I'm gonna do some fishing. Big jellyfish. But yeah, loaded up this morning, got two rods, got some bait, even got some uh, live minnows with me today. We are going to see what happens. Seems pretty calm out here today. I have been doing a little bit of fishing, not much. Didn't film anything, but just a bunch of croaker and little stuff like that, some spot. So anyways, before we get into this, please smash that like button also if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button let's get after it I all right we're gonna start with the fish bites here see what we can get in let's take a cast up uh, I uh, wanted to make like a makeshift anchor and bring it along and I did but I forgot the anchor so I'm gonna float a good bit, but it is what it is. Oh, getting some action. Uh, missed him, I'm sure. First bite of the morning, not a bad sign. I think we are gonna get, we're gonna go up a little bit and then we're gonna cut up some minnow also. Let's see if we can. Get in there. Let's check that out. We're kind of pinned up against the side. Now we're going to cut up a little minnow, tiny little minnows. We'll cut them up. Just like I do when I'm catfishing. There we go. Little piece of cut bait. Going out. This may be tricky, actually. Let's go sit right here. Okay. Now, we're also going to throw the little bait back up. Yeah, I kind of like this because I'm not drifting as fast. When you're out in the center, it's just, the current just takes you. Oh, I'm getting a nib there. Oh, missed one. It happens quick. Well, I guess this is what it's gonna be. Just paddle up and drift down. Still have not caught a fish yet though. Haven't even had many bites, two little bites. Not sure what's up with that. It's pretty rough out here today, I'm not gonna lie. It's not calm at all. Don't really like it. Oh, and there was a bite. We missed him. My hooks could be too big. I've recently just switched up hooks. Something about the salt water. These old hooks I had in my bag. I kind of stay, save stuff from over the years of coming down here. And there's one. Oh, he got off. Well, that was one, one. 
But anyways, I kind of saved stuff from over the years. And it just seems like these one set of hooks I had. You know, the salt water I know messes with everything. It kind of rough stuff. And yeah, it just seemed like they got corroded pretty quick. Not sure what was up with that. They were salt water hooks. They were for, they were bought down here. I don't know. But I switched to some eagle claws and they might be a little too big. You can see the size of the hook there. It's not the smallest hook. Could definitely go smaller. I'm gonna let that sit. And I'm gonna recast this cut bait out. There's two little sinkers on that. My hopes for that is that it drags across the bottom and maybe something snatches it, like a flounder or something. I don't know. There's one. All right, we got one. All right, and there's a little, the first little croaker of the day, of the morning. Get him off the hook. You want to open your mouth so I can show you off? That's that. I mean, that's a, that's a tiny little guy there, but that is a croaker, and that's probably what we're going to catch a bunch of today. I can't believe it took this long to get the first one, but that's number one, and he's going to go back. See you, buddy. They do get bigger than that. I've caught them bigger than that. Caught some like nine inches. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no way. What was that? Wow, that got me excited. So that was not anything, but at least I'm dragging across the bottom. Conditions. It's definitely choppy out here. This is, I just drifted and kayaked the whole way back up. I don't know how many times I'm gonna be doing that. That is a workout. Oh, that was pretty aggressive. Did you take my bait? No, that was the most aggressive hit I've ever felt fishing in here. That guy was either a little bigger or he was just, really strong <laughs> oh all right that was a that was definitely that was definitely something decent wow huh that stinks that just got me really excited wonder what that was Looks like it, it looks like it's still getting some action here. And it could not be anything. But oh yeah, there's something on there. Oh, check that out. Let's go. Alright. That's a little flounder. That's exciting. Super exciting. That's really cool. Hold still, buddy. Hold still. That's super sweet. So I wonder if that was... Uh, dude, he got like little teeth there. Yeah, that rod's getting hit now. Come on out. There it is. Anyways, the cut bait on a piece of... Piece of little minnow. We got a flounder. That's sweet. Look at those fish. Look at his little teeth. I never knew they had teeth like that. Oh, hold on, buddy. Hold on. Take him out of the kayak. So we're going to let him go. See you, buddy. That's awesome. The cut bait with the flounder. Let's go. 
That's exciting. Very cool. It got me, seriously, I kind of just want to drift cut bait all down through here now. That's pretty awesome. So we got one croaker, one flounder. Not too shabby. There we go. We have something. Oh, check that out. The croaker on the cut bait. Hey. That's awesome. I gotta tighten that drag a little bit. I tried loosening it in hopes that it's a little bigger than the first one. Croaker number two. On the cut bait. Not much bigger than the first, but a little bit. Yeah. Number two on the cut bait. That's cool. Going back. All right. So we got two croaker and a flounder so far. GoPro died, I had to switch the battery. Ooh. Wow, that almost just took a hook through my finger there. It did, rod got drug. Jeez. We got a little piece of cut bait minnow head here going out now. Cut bait seems to be the ticket right now. It's working pretty well. Oh, oh, that's actually seems like it's something decent. What is going on here? Oh, now that's a decent croaker there. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Right there, man. That is sweet. Look at the size of that croaker, dude. Wow, on the fish bite, dude, that's awesome. I gotta get this guy up. This is what I'm talking about. Check out this boy. Open your mouth, buddy. Check out that. Now that's a decent croaker there. That's a good one. It looks like we might be getting some action on that rod too right behind you can see but yeah that's a that's a good old boy there that's awesome one last look at the the big old croaker love to see it man that guy was awesome put up a good little fight too go ahead back see you buddy let's try and get another croaker like that that was crazy he was right around in here threw out the opposite side of the boat and there he came Oh, got a hit there. There's one. Look at that. That's a tiny one. Wow. Tiny little guy. Oop, dropped him. There's a tiny one. Look at that. That is a tiny little Kroger. See you, buddy. That's probably the smallest one I've ever caught, honestly. I can't believe I hooked him. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Another little croaker. Sweet. Some of these guys, man, they're getting hooked outside of the mouth. Another little guy. Sweet. Well, I think that's gonna do it, guys. I drifted a long way. <laughs> and I got a long way to get back to where I'm going. So, through some pretty good wind and some choppy water. This isn't the easiest, but I'll get there eventually. Pretty good day, I'm pretty content with that couple croaker decent size croaker and a flounder so had a lot of fun and it's just nice to be out fishing no better way to start the day anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and i appreciate you watching
Till next time. Aye.